hello Capricorn thank you for being here thank you for liking sharing commenting and subscribing to the channel all links are below if you need to get in contact with me let me know where you're viewing from I have high viewership in New York LA Chicago Atlanta Florida Houston London Philadelphia and Dallas so shout out to all of those places let me know where you are viewing from all right, so let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Capricorn, uh, the one card that I got for you today is the Six of Pentacles. The song that I got was, um, I, I want money or I need money or money. You know, um, the best things in life are free, but you can give them to the birds and the bees. I want money, okay? Somebody is after the money. Somebody is about the money. Somebody is saying, do you have enough money? Somebody is really concerned about money, wealth. Um, are you going to give me some money? Someone is concerned about the getting of, you know, the having. Um, the Six of Pentacles also, power dynamic. You know, somebody is attracted to power powerful men or women, someone who has uh, material possessions. Somebody likes for someone to show their affection by way of throwing around their money, gifts, trips, and so forth. This could be you Capricorn, it could be another person. There's somebody here who was putting out a lot of money and maybe not getting a lot back. There could be equal give and take for some of you, but there also could be upset, like something is all, or offset, something is not. Um, it's not equal. There's no equality. Somebody also feels like they have the power because they have the money. You know, I have money. I have wealth. It is what it is. You get in line with what I'm, what I've got going point blank period. Someone's very calculated also, you know, someone feels they want to be, they want to make all the executive decisions in a relationship or a business. You know, this is somebody here who's intelligent, you know, but they may, but they're very materialistic. This could be someone who's extremely materialistic. This is somebody who's playing both sides. You know, um, they're in two different fields. They, you know, they, they're doing what they want. They're doing what they think is best in order for them to have balance, harmony, maybe in terms of uh, monetarily. So I need to do this and I need to do that so that I can have money. Someone is saying, you know, uh, somebody is keeping options open, but they're also open to whoever is going to spend the most or whoever is going to her shower with gifts. Um, Somebody is, is, is vetting someone, but, they, but the vetting process just has everything to do with will you be able to um, give me, buy me, take me. Someone is keeping somebody around because they can always go to this person for a handout or they can always go with their handout. This per they will be well received. This could be the good and the bad of, of giving. This could also be lending money and, and unsure if you're going to get it back. You know, if, if that's the case, the best advice is to give it. If it's not going to upset your finances, just give the person the money. Don't lend it. This is somebody here. This could be you, Capricorn. It could be someone else also. Um, somebody likes to be in the driver's seat, in the power seat, the power dynamic while the other person is waiting for, waiting for them to come and give or share with. You should be dealing with someone like that or this is you. You don't want to deal with somebody who's on your level or above you or vice versa, somebody you're dealing with someone who doesn't want that. Um, you feel like it's it's comfortable or it's safe to deal with someone who needs you on a material level, the material plane, uh, materialistically, or is that a word? Um, or just monetarily.
you may feel like somebody's not on your level in terms of money, but this person is extremely calculated or calculating. They could be adding things up, you know, measuring how much you do or how much you will do for them. They're keeping tally record measurement of so that they can then compare and contrast because this is somebody who has somebody else. This looks like somebody's keeping options open because it's like, you know, I, I'm getting the best of both worlds. Eventually I'll make a decision where I'll, I'll cut one person off or cut this thing out. But right now I got my hands in both pots. This is somebody who does have a lot of uh, affluence or they look like money and they look like royalty. They dress very well. This could be an older woman. Something that somebody's giving to is not giving back to them, not in the way that they were looking forward to getting or to receiving or to reciprocation. Is that a word? Reciprocity. It looks like it's okay for now. I can deal with it for now, but it is what it is. Money's coming in, money's going out. It's not a whole big surplus. Like you just got this large amount of money left over after you pay all your expenses. No, but it is balanced. Like money comes in, money goes out. You know, it is what it is. I've got some left over, not a whole lot. Someone could be trying to keep up with the Joneses or keep up, keep up appearances. This might need to go get expert advice before making a decision. Oh, somebody also is just being real calculated in regards to somebody's dealings, whereabouts. Someone's definitely keeping track or mental record. Somebody's definitely measuring up or trying to see if somebody can measure up to what they expect. This is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Uh, catch me live tonight, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Every night, well, not every night, but Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you feel like you took something from the reading, you can always get back the link to buy me a coffee. Yep, I do like coffee. is below. Um, and if you want to get your own personal discovery call in regards to starting your own business, maintaining your business, or growing your business, sign up for that complimentary call. Take care. Many blessings to you. Bye. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.